Hey. Is Ross home from school yet? Is the world gonna end in the year 2000? The answer to both questions is who cares? Come on. Today's a big day for the roster. He's taking his IQ test. Oh, I'm so excited for him. I remember the day I took mine. Two newly sharpened number two pencils, as recommended by the Educational Testing Service. <laughs> I took mine with a dull crayon. <laughs> yep, me and Joey the Drooler Labona were the first ones finished. Oh, how we laughed at the other kids as we rushed blindly into traffic. <laughs> Joey would have been 20 today. I aced it. <laughs> McDonald's salads all around. By the end of this week, I'll be out of that dead-end dump they call public school. Because I'm going to the Thurston Howell Academy for the Gifted. Ooh. You know, by gifted, they mean rich. They like to bring in the smart kids from the mean streets like me, you know, to break up all the inbreeding. <laughs> so they don't end up like the Kennedys. Yeah, those stupid Kennedys down the street, always drinking and fighting. I think he's talking about the real Kennedys. Yeah, those are the real Kennedys. They have one of their <laughs> damn compounds down there. <laughs> must be where they hide from Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Oh, you who Kennedys. Where is everybody? It's your old friend Arnold. Come out. I want to terminate you. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, Maria, they do not like me. They think I'm a monster. But a monster wear Armani underwear? Let me in or I will eat you one by one. Are you quite done yet? Good. Yep, me at private school. Today I told my classmates, so long, suckers. So what was your IQ score? I don't know yet. They only tell your parents. Dad went over to pick it up for me. Like he'll be picking up my groceries when I'm rich. Just like Gary Coleman's father. Hey, kids. Great news. Ross is not going to speak anymore? <laughs> what a windbag, Dad. I'm glad he's going to private school. Well, he's not going to private school. Matter of fact, uh, he's not going nowhere. You mean he's not a genius? Is he as dumb as me? <laughs> Lord, no, son! You're still the champ of this yeah. team! <laughs> uh, Ross! Come on down here a minute, will you, son? So, how'd I do? How'd I do? <laughs> uh, Tiffany, could you sit all the way over here, honey, and Ryan sit at the other end of the couch? Thanks. <laughs> now, Ross, on one end we have the genius level, and the other end, Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> so, uh, where do you think you fit in? It's easy. <laughs> no, not exactly. I'm afraid not. Uh, there we go. Perfect. You're exactly average. There's got to be a mistake. I'm not average. I know I'm not. They made a mistake. How many glasses of water a day do you drink? 2.2. How much TV do you watch? Four hours, 13 minutes. How often is one of your friends killed by random gunfire? <laughs> Every eight minutes, give or take. Average. Average. <laughs> Ross, with a little bit of hard work and some good old-fashioned gumption, you can be anything you want. Oh, baloney oil. Don't be like Mike. Be like me. Be nothing. Think of this. Think of this as the start of a 60-year vacation. <laughs> if you never rise up, they can't knock you down. <laughs> Ross, no one ever died from not climbing a ladder. <laughs> Dad, I need someone to talk to. Yep, still the number one stupid in this family. That's right. <laughs> this IQ test has permanently damaged me as a person. I'm lost. I feel alone in this world. I need some guidance. <laughs> what do you want from me? Sympathy, love, just pick one. 
Throw me a bone here. Oh, okay, son. I got you. <laughs> All right, well, you told everyone at school you were leaving, and now you're going to go crawling back feeling the fool. So here's what you do. You go to school and you do what great rationalizers have done throughout history. You just say, I didn't really want that job. That school, that girl, that reprieve from the governor. <laughs> I don't care. If you say it often enough, you might actually start to believe it yourself. And isn't self-deception the best kind? <laughs> That's it? That's it. I give you the secret of the Malloy family since your great-great-great-grandfather could have signed the Declaration of Independence, but just didn't feel like it. <laughs> yes, that's it, you little ingrate. Now go to school and get the beating you deserve. <laughs> Mr. Kit finally got here. You are looking at the Reverend Mr. Floppy. Ooh, my white wig. Yeah. An angel wing. Uh -huh. A bottle of false tears. Hey. And a discount card accepted by most local hookers. God bless those participating hookers. Jack, let's tape a show. I'll bless, I'll cry, I'll speak in tongues, I'll heal the sick. You can still do your leper impression, can't you, Jack? <laughs> me, it got me out of work for two years. <laughs> 2020 caught me on video. <laughs> Pox on the public's right to know. Come here, Jack. Self-pity out! Oh. Daddy. Daddy, can we talk? Mm -hmm. Ross is really upset about his IQ test. Yeah, he's sad because he's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that he should take a retest, but that takes a parent's request, so... I think that maybe Ryan and I should pretend to be Ross's parents because, well, because you might launch into your leper impression like you did on What Does Your Daddy Do For A Living Day. Kids ate that up. I thought you were cool, Dad. So, do you mind if we pretend to be Ross's parents? Well, sweetheart, I think maybe it's time you took over for real. You see, I really haven't had a chance to bond with the boy yet. <laughs> I'll, uh, say a prayer for you. Save your prayers for Judge Judy's blind dates. Damn public school. I hate everybody here. Ross, I thought you were transferring to that smart, snooty school. Oh, well. I was, but then I thought, to heck with my future. I'd rather be with you. Because baby, 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 you complete me. Oh, Rossi. Excuse me. My, uh, my husband and I would like to talk to you about our baby boy, Ross. How dare you say our Ross got a hundred on his IQ test? <laughs> our child couldn't possibly be normal. How old are you, 20, 21? Of course he can't be normal. There must have been some mistake in the scoring. I mean, look at this face. 
Does this look like the face that scored a lousy hundred on his IQ test? Sit up straight, honey. Show off that pretty face. <laughs> Doing to me. Don't sass your mother, you little. Gee, everything looks pretty normal. We know that our son is very smart, and as his parents were demanding a retest. Well, I don't think we can give a retest. It's just hey. Don't sass my wife. Look, let's be pals. I mean, I'm sure we can come to some kind of an arrangement. <laughs> You're very persuasive. I think we can work out a retest for the boy. 50 cents for a kid that I'm not even sure is mine. <laughs> All right, look at him, mouth open like a fish, not a thought in his head. You look in his ear, you see daylight. You know, uh, you're asking for it. Yeah, you know, you know what? In the deck of life, you're the two of clubs. You know that's what you want? Well, you're getting another chance. And I'm getting another Zima. <laughs> well, I won't be here to smell it on your breath. I'll take that test again. So long, sucker. <laughs> And that goes for you, too, you little tease. <laughs> A 99? <laughs> I'm taking it again. A 101? <laughs> I'm taking it again. A 100? Might as well face it. Guess I'm average after all. We failed as parents. <laughs> Let's sell them to a couple of show business lesbians and buy a whirlpool. <laughs> hey, Ross, what are you doing here? Well, this is where I'm gonna wind up. Mr. Average, Mr. No One in particular, Mr. 100, Mr. 99, Mr. 101. It averages out to Mr. 100 exactly. Don't worry, I had that exact same problem. Being 100 was awful. I mean, I'd get down to 99, then I'd be 101. I mean, I felt like I couldn't win, like a complete loser. But I tell you, I worked and worked and finally got my weight down to a steady 99 pounds. <laughs> I'm talking about my IQ. Do you have a hundred IQ? God, that's average. Well, I always wondered what my dentist looked like as a kid. <laughs> Ross, even I thought you were smart. But just because your IQ couldn't possibly get any more average doesn't mean that you can't learn. I mean, what do you want to do, just give up entirely? What would life be like if you stopped trying and you, you lived like an animal? <laughs> Fine example you are to the boy. Ah, oh, shut up. 20 years you're nagging me. I wish you married the Goldberg boy. Yeah, shut up. Mm. Let's pretend to be civil for the child's sake, all right? Look, Ross, most people are average, but you can stand out if you try hard. If you go in with the idea that you're not the smartest person in the world, you'll actually learn more than the smartest person in the world. It's the American way. No, listen to her. It's a bunch of hooey. <laughs> I mean, you have a sixth grade education. What more does an average guy need? Listen, half this country is illiterate and the other 75% can't read. <laughs> the only thing you really need to know how to say is paper or plastic. <laughs> the brain is like a muscle. If you use it, it gets big and strong. And if you don't, it gets, well, it gets soft and mushy and, and withered like a, like a rotten peach kids kick around because they're too poor to afford a ball. <laughs> One thing a head like this is good for is to stick on a pole to scare away the birds. <laughs> you can do better than this. There is no better than me. I mean, I'm a zero, but I'm actually happy. I mean, I have fun. Fun is highly overrated. So 
Besides, I have fun. I am frequently a very happy person. What could be more fun than getting all A's all the time? A's, 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 nothing but A's. God help me if I ever get a B, but I never will. That's why I'm having fun. Really, I am. See? <laughs> pressure, pressure, pressure. Now that's fun, Mr. Guns, getting more fun than that. Look at the smile on my face. Look at the shine in my eyes. Look at the bright glint of madness. I mean, fun. It doesn't come overnight. You gotta want it. You gotta work for it. <laughs> and now. A man who likes getting rich off your sins, the Reverend Mr. Floppy. Hallelujah! God loves his sucker! Can I get a hallelujah, Pastor Jack? Hallelujah! 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 Whoever you are, whatever you've done, we have a repentance package for you. Maybe you're a retiree who's confused by dollar bills and change and what have you. Well, you know who needs that money, don't you? The Lord needs that money. <laughs> who does? The Lord needs that money. Say it again. The Lord needs that money. Amen. <laughs> the Lord needs that money. But you can't give it to the Lord now, can you? No, sir, you cannot. You can't just look in the yellow pages and find the Lord, can you? No, sir, you cannot. You can't send it to the Lord because you don't have his business address. Say it for me. I don't have the Lord's business address. I don't have the Lord's business address. But here's mine. <laughs> you can send your money to me, and I'll hang on to it for the Lord. Now, I know some of the faithful are asking, just who is this furry little messiah? <laughs> and what can he do for me? Well, I'll show you. Pastor Jack, is there anything bothering you? Reverend Mr. Flappy, I am possessed by demons. <laughs> Bend down. Demons, out! Oh! <laughs> Say. They're out! How much would you pay for a miracle like that? $1,000? $5,000? Well, if you can call now, you can be healed for $19.95. Praise the Lord! Plus, if you call in the next 15 minutes, we'll throw in the first three books of the Bible. A Song of Solomon not available in Arkansas or Missouri. You're unsatisfied? Just return your copy and mark the box. The Bible is not for me. Please put me down for an eternity in hell. I think I'd rather buy my way into heaven. Absolution absolutely guaranteed or your sinful soul back. What's that, Lord? Oh, yeah. 50% off for natural blondes with long legs that reach all the way to heaven. Russ, what's uh, going down, son? I'm average, Dad. Being average sucks. Oh, no. I'm average and I don't suck. <laughs> it's horrible. It's boring. It's depressing. It just makes you want to quit living. Yes. <laughs> Ross, I think I know exactly what you need. Let you and me go have ourselves an average day. Come on. <laughs> you see, Ross, we average folks, we make up 98% of the American population and we're growing all the time. Uh, how's that vanilla ice cream? Bland, but satisfying. <laughs> yep. Just like life should be, and TV is. You know, you should feel lucky that you don't have one of them high IQs. Smart people feel bad because they feel too much. Who do you think is going to therapists all the time? Not average people. <laughs> That's right. People who are smart are just broken. <laughs> the hell with them and their big words. Normal guys never run out of things to say or people to say it to. What's this? Hey, buddy, um, did you understand Frasier last night? Nope. I like shows about straight guys. <laughs> with a touching moment at the end. 
You know, like the rest of America, I just sat through it to get to Veronica's closet. It's almost as good as Raymond. No, he's funny. <laughs> Everybody loves him. <laughs> no, I like that Tim Allen. He's just like me. <laughs> Being average, it's like being part of the biggest club in the world. Uh, you bet you so. Why do you think the gap exists? <laughs> now, you should be happy you're average, Russ. It's a lot more fun, too. I mean, safer, you know. They didn't shoot Ringo, did they? <laughs> and they'll never shoot us. At least not on purpose. <laughs> hey, guys, how do we all feel about being average? Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> yes, sir. God bless the average. Sandra Bullock. Al Gore. Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> Celine Dion. The Backseat Boys. The People's Choice Award. Mariah Carey, The Sizzler, Ethan Hawke, The Movie Braveheart, and Jay Leno viewers everywhere. I'll be praying for you. I will now sing until I get a hundred thousand dollars. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Can I get a hallelujah? A hooker and a shot of penicillin. That saved a wretch life.